Hi, my name is Dave Noble, and I'm a meteorologist for the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana. In August 2012, our Doppler radar was upgraded, which has given us more tools to assist us. Before the upgrade, we were unable to distinguish a raindrop from a smoke particle, but with dual pole, we can. So let me take you back to a, a shift that I was working back on Friday, July 26, 2013. My coworker and I were wondering if we could distinguish between the rain from the monsoon wave that was moving through the area and smoke from the wildfires. What we're looking at here is the dual pole product, correlation coefficient, or CC for short. The purple here is the rain, or high CC values, while the blue-green colors is the smoke from the wildfires, low CC values. So you may be asking, what is correlation coefficient? Well, it compares the vertical and horizontal radar pulses to see how uniform the objects are. So high values of CC pertain to objects that don't change as much, like raindrops, here in the purple. The low values of CC are objects that change a lot between radar scans, which could be smoke, the blue and green colors. So there was a monsoon wave that was moving through the area. It's also called an upper level disturbance that helps to initiate or help to start showers and thunderstorms. The Bailey wildfire is located in northeast Idaho County, while the Moose Meadow wildfire is in southwest Montana. As this wave was moving across the area, there could have been some sort of convective outflow, which is basically a downdraft from a shower or a thunderstorm uh, that help to enhance the wildfire. There are pixels of green that show up, which is the lower CC values. Uh, this is the gold pan wildfire. Uh, this means the radar is seeing objects that are changing a lot, so it could be smoke or ash. If you think about smoke as it moves up into the atmosphere, it moves in erratic ways. Here's the gold pan wildfire really showing up as the wave is approaching. This radar image is six minutes later. And as I said before, the blue areas signify smoke and ash particles uh, with CC values less than 0.7, uh, kind of lower values. Five twenty-eight p.m. Five fifty-one. Six twenty PM six fifty five PM seven thirty five PM Eight oh six PM, eight twenty four PM. The hydrometeor classification, or HC for short, is a dual pole product that helps us to differentiate between objects that the radar sees. The light blue here reveals ice crystals, and what we're going to be looking for here is the potential for lightning in these showers. You need a fair amount of grapple and a cloud for charge separation, and therefore lightning to occur. So we're going to be looking for some grapple showing up in the HC product. Now this is over 100 miles from the radar, which is pretty far away, but we were still able to find usefulness for this product. Right off the bat, we see a pixel of grapple show up. This could give us a heads up for lightning with this cell. Five minutes later, a lightning strike is detected with the cell that contained the grapple. This 3.49 p.m. image doesn't show any grapple, but with the progression of radar images, we know that there is possible grapple and therefore the cells are capable of lightning. The grapple could be above or below this particular radar beam slice. So a new cell shows up with some grapple. So let's see if it produces any lightning. Six minutes later, it produces a lightning strike. It's rather kind of neat. There's no grapple here. It shows up at 4.07 p.m. And, you know, grapple is not stationary in a cloud, so it's constantly moving up and down between the updraft and downdraft. 
So the grapple could be above or below this radar slice. The grapple pops back here. The thunderstorm cells are moving over mountainous terrain, so they're being enhanced by the extra lift. We have more lightning with that cell. Still continue to track this thunderstorm cell and it's showing some grapple. No grapple here, but could be some grapple above or below the layer. About six minutes later, another lightning strike reported. So about five minutes later, there's about maybe a small pixel of grapple in there. No grapple here, but what we know from these cells, there still is the potential for some grapple and uh, maybe lightning. More lightning with no grapple beforehand. And this is pretty far away from the radar. And as the radar beam goes far away, it, it widens with distance, therefore giving less resolution. So potentially it could be missing some of the grapple. 459, no grapple. No grapple, but we have more lightning. So, but we know this uh, cell has probably has some grapple in it. Some more lightning and grapple. This is 5, 10 p.m., 5, 16 p.m. Got about three lightning strikes. About 5.22, we had four strikes reported here. This cell moved over a 9,000 foot ridge, which enhanced the cell, uh, allowed it to develop more grapple. So you have more charge separations, more lightning. And also the cell was closer to the ground, which probably aided the, the lightning. So I hope you enjoyed this presentation on the dual pole benefits here in Missoula. The correlation coefficient, or CC, helps us to distinguish between rain and smoke, while the hydrometeor classification, or HC, helps us to see if a cloud has grapple and the potential for lightning. The left photo is of our radar dome at 8,000 feet at point 0.6, while the photo on the right shows some technicians taking dual pole hardware out of the box during the August 2012 installation. For more weather information, you can go to our website weather.gov slash MSO or follow us at, on Twitter at NWS Missoula or check us out at Facebook at us.nationalweatherservice.missoula.gov. Thank you very much.